Battlefield 3 Reality Mod was the absolute hot oh drop God. of the century when a playable build was officially announced and launched back in July 2022. The developers managed to generate an unreal level of hype, dropping a trailer that currently has over 700,000 views for a completely unknown realism mod for a game that's nearly 12 years old. And yet, you open this mod today, and it's a ghost town. But should it be? And can it be saved? BF3 Reality Mod has a lot going for it. <laughs> what is that anime? When I say it has unlimited potential, I'm not joking. The sheer scope for potential when imagining what already exists in Battlefield 3 is tantalizing. And with a base game and engine that is largely loved and a fan favorite among Battlefield players, you'd think any BF3 mod would be destined for success. The fact this mod is built on this iteration of the Frostbite engine means that many assets in terms of vehicle, soldier, and weapon models already exist, and you're not going to run into the flying desync issue that plagues squad and holds back that game's potential to add playable CAS and expand air assets. And let's not forget the added bonus of hugely destructible environments with complete building demolition physics already baked into the game. How could this possibly fail? find out, you might just have to like and subscribe. Okay, I'll tell you. Well, it turns out when this mod launched its 0.1 build, it left a lot to be desired. No! Like a few games before it, this game was avidly compared to Project Reality, the mod of a similar style for Battlefield 2. And while devs were not shared across the two projects, it's understandable comparisons would be drawn between the two. I mean, the names are very similar, they're both mods for Battlefield games, and they're both creating squad-based tactical shooters in a modern war environment. And with comparisons come expectations. Project Reality has been in development for 18 years, has a ton of stuff in it. Jets, tanks, APCs, you name it, chances are Battlefield 2 Project Reality has it. On the other hand, and rather unfortunately, to put it bluntly, Battlefield 3 Reality Mod does not. In fact, on launch, Reality Mod barely had a transport vehicle, let alone anything that really differentiated it from simply playing Battlefield 3 with no HUD. And I say does as opposed to did, using the power of the present tense to highlight that it has taken a full nine months to release version 0.2 of this mod, an update that dropped a few weeks ago. And while the update brings many welcome changes, the speed at which these changes were brought in have been absolutely devastating for the game. Version 0.2 brought with it a lot of welcome changes that were sorely needed for the game. These changes included adding armored transport vehicles, UI improvements, a new combat engineer class, a skirmish game mode, the ability to free look, a capture indicator and medic radar, recoil changes that actually make a bipod weapon usable, and a bunch of smaller quality of life stuff that I'm not going to go into here, but you can read the full list for yourself on the recent dev blog post. There will be a link in the description. And while these things have undoubtedly improved the mod, the development time to create them has been painful. I actually played a playtest of this build prior to its full release back in February and released a video about it, thinking this playtest was to sort out any final bugs before release and that a full release would be scheduled for the following weekend. It was rather frustrating as someone who really wants to like this game and for it to succeed to not see this launched until April, two full months later. Now, believe it or not, I'm not a complete idiot. I know this mod is free and is being developed for free by a bunch of dedicated individuals doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. If you've read the dev blog they posted back in April, you'd know there were some issues behind the scenes, primarily revolving around team members dropping out of the project, including losing 3TI65, who I understood to be the project frontman and presumably driving force behind the mod. I actually played with 3TI during the initial launch of the mod. He seemed pretty dedicated and like a very positive force for the game, so not really sure what happened there. But I can see how that would be a pretty severe blow for the project. With this in mind, I understand that development takes time. But realistically, is it taking too much time? Looking at the roadmap of the game ahead, I can't help but cry a little inside. Any fans of the game will likely be waiting until at least version 0.4 just to have a basic logistics system and for classes to get binoculars. A wait that may last 18 months based on the previous development cycle. 
placing the addition of Logi trucks at the tail end of 2024. This is a wait that may prove costly. With the game currently having almost no players, I myself struggled to even record gameplay for the game because of how limited the timeframes were where players were actually online. I can only imagine how few players there will be in 2024. I am of course spoiled to a certain extent. Viewing this game through the lens of a player who has access to a bunch of competitors all offering a superior comparable experience with many more years of development under their belt. And yet, I still feel Battlefield 3 Reality Mod can compete in this market. They just need to conjure some momentum. To any Reality Mod devs listening, first and foremost, I would love to promote and support your game, but the media strategy needs to be better. If a patch is ready, by all means, let's get it play tested. But any official playtest should come with an understanding that the following week, the full patch will be released. Ride the hype generated from the playtest. If this means having secret playtests so your official playtest is just for show to get some influencers on board, I'm convinced this is the play. Any reality mod enthusiasts out there with some spare time? Oh, there's another way up. We need the community servers up and populated more of the time. This means creating groups and announcing playtimes regularly not just on a Sunday between six and nine. Again, community managers among you, if you want a platform to promote your regular reality mod play sessions, reach out to me. I have a Discord full of Battlefield mod enthusiasts itching to play this game more. They just need to be corralled into the same place at the same time. For the record, I am one of these people. <laughs> and if you happen to be on the fence about reality mod or have never heard of this game until right now, show the devs some love, pump up the player numbers, to get the devs excited and motivated to further support the mod they've already spent a ton of time making. I strongly believe that Battlefield 3 Reality Mod has huge potential and could be a real game changer in the tactical shooter landscape, particularly because of the potential that comes with the destruction and scope of the Battlefield 3 Frostbite engine. So if you're out there, give the game a go, tell a friend, give the devs a reason to get up in the morning, and most importantly, Tell me what you think about the current state of Battlefield 3 Reality Mod in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more top quality Slorg insights. And other than that, all the best, and I hope to see you in the next one. Wow, I couldn't shoot him and he could shoot me.